In this problem, we're given a perfect binary tree of height h consisting of n is equal to 2 to the power of h minus 1 nodes. The nodes have been assigned distinct labels from 1 to 2 to the power of n minus 1. We do not know which labels correspond to which nodes. We can ask queries of the form u, v, w, which returns the LCA of the nodes labeled u and v if the tree were to be rooted at the node labeled w. We are meant to find the root of the tree using at most 420 plus n queries where n is equal to the number of nodes in the tree. If we were to make 420 random queries, the two most stuckering results of the queries would be the two children of the root. I'll try and provide some intuition as to why this is true. Let's try and find the approximate probability of the root being the answer of any random query first. The total possible number of queries is approximately n cubed. Note that this is an approximation and not the exact number, as u, v and w have to be distinct in a query. We can split the tree at the root into two parts, which have a size of approximately n by 2 nodes each. Now for the root to be the answer to a query, one of u, v or w needs to be equal to the root node. The other two need to be from the two different parts which we split the tree into. Then there are three factorial ways to permute this around u, v and w. Hence, the total number of ways to get the root as an answer is 3 factorial times n by 2 times n by 2. That's equal to 3n square by 2. Hence, the probability of selecting the root as an answer is 3n square by 2n cubed. That's equal to 3 by 2n. Now let's look at the children of the root. We can separate the tree at the child of the root into three different parts, which have sizes that are approximately n by 2, n by 4, and n by 4. Again, for this note to be an answer, we need u, v, and w to be in three different groups. So we have n by 2 times n by 4 times n by 4 different ways of selecting such triplets, and then three factorial ways of permuting it about. So the total probability in this case is 3 factorial times n by 2 times n by 4 squared by n cubed. That's equal to 6n cubed by 32n cubed, and that's equal to 3 by 16. From this point, we can show that as our depth increases, the probability of that node being an answer decreases. At a particular depth i, you'll have two groups of size n by 2 to the power of i, and one group of size 2 to the power of i minus 1 minus 1 times n by 2 to the power of i minus 1. There are three factorial ways to permute them about the triplet u, v, and w. Therefore, the probability is the product divided by n cubed which ends up being 3 factorial by 2 to the power of i minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3 i minus 1. Hence, the children of the root have the highest probability of appearing as answers. Again, note that these were just approximate probabilities to provide some intuition as to why the children of the root appear most frequently. Right, so after 420 queries, we know the children of the root. Let's call them x and y. We can use a further n minus 2 queries of the form x, i, y, which means that we root the tree at y and find the LCA of x and i. In the original tree, the LCA of all nodes in the subtree of x and x will result in the LCA being x. On the other hand, the LCA of all nodes in the subtree of y and x results in y being the answer. Only the LCA of the root and x will result in the root being the answer. Therefore, the root is the only result which isn't x or y in our n-2 queries. So that's how you solve problem f. I have video editorials for a, b, c, d, and e too, so check them out if you're interested. I'll also be posting more videos like this in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe.